Last week at my other job where I run a game development school in Sweden, I started preparing learning materials for object-oriented programming. I was very excited about it, both because I decided to do an implementation of Dungeons and Dragons, and because it gave me an opportunity to finally try writing c -sharp code with GitHub Copilot. As programmers, we have for a long time relied on autocompletion to type out variable names and get a list of available classes, properties and methods. With Visual Studio 2022, the editor could now also suggest how to complete a whole line of code. It does this understanding the context you're writing in and is being fueled by a billion lines of code it learned online. GitHub Copilot takes this further, where Visual Studio uses GPT-C, a model for code generation inspired by OpenAI's GPT-2. GitHub Copilot works with OpenAI Codex, based on the next generation GPT-3. It doesn't just understand code, but natural language as well. This gives it the uncanny ability to understand the problem domain you're working in, like knowing which damage types are available in Dungeons & Dragons. Not only does it work to complete single lines, you can simply tell it what you're after in a comment, and you get the whole thing at once. I haven't previously considered testing Copilot with Pixel Art Academy because CoffeeScript, which I use, never appeared among the supported languages. Although the web page does say it can generate suggestions in other languages, so with my positive experience in C Sharp, I installed Copilot in WebStorm to give it a go. I only had a few days to play with it so far, so I only have my first impressions to share. Since it's very fluent in Python, it does quite well with the CoffeeScript syntax, although sometimes it does go the JavaScript way. Here it first suggested correct CoffeeScript code for detecting when the coordinates are out of bounds. However, I'd usually write this as a negated condition, which would allow for chain comparisons. This time it suggested JavaScript code, so I had to manually chain the operators and use the AND keyword. Similarly, it doesn't seem to know that CoffeeScript doesn't require the return keyword in the last line of code. But I find cleaning code strangely therapeutic, so when I have to tidy up working code, I'm not complaining. This applies as a general pattern. You get almost working code and you tweak it to match your code base. It's a bit like painting, where you first lay down big strokes and then refine the details with a smaller brush. Although sometimes you do end up repainting almost the whole thing. When it does get things precisely right, it feels very magical. As I was implementing a hashing algorithm I found online that performs a cyclical shift by 5 bits, it needed me to start things off in the right direction, but it then automatically knew it should shift 27 bits to the right to simulate wrapping around a 32-bit integer. It was as if it too read the reference algorithm as I did. It created a bug, however, since JavaScript requires a different operator for an unsigned right shift. As I was recording this, I also realized that I don't really need to isolate the highest 5 bits, and it seems Copilot knew this as well. When I was going to use the method I just wrote to calculate the hash code of a string, I got a suggestion for an alternative algorithm, multiplication by 31. While this would also work, I didn't want to feel like I wasted my time writing the cyclic bit shift. After I wrote the code in the operation class, I needed a similar loop for the action. 
It seemed like it learned how I did it, and it now correctly adapted it to the new context, using hash codes of the operations instead of char codes. One of the things I learned is that if you get a lengthy algorithm suggestion off the bat, it's better to just ignore it. Often enough it's gibberish, and trying to understand the code takes away precious time. When things get defined and granular enough, however, it might surprise you with a correct implementation. I accept it if I can comprehend it at a glance, and it then needs just some ironing out of the details. Like I tell the participants at our school who use Visual Studio's code completion, you have to first know in your head what code will solve the problem. If the completion AI then writes out that solution, it saves you time from having to type it out yourself. What it can't be trusted with is to solve the problem for you. It can easily suggest wrong logic, and you do get complete nonsense sometimes. Even with the more advanced GitHub Copilot, at least for now, you still need to be the painter. But when it does paint the composition you imagined, it's a lot of fun having an assistant to work with. Mm -hmm.